Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're talking about locking down your DNS on your Edge Max router. Now my guide today is going to be quite a simple guide because I want it to be simple for those of you out there who may just be running an Edge Max at their home and I don't want uh, to configure it in minute details. I'll just want something quick that'll do the job. Now, if you want a more advanced way of doing this, Chris from Crosstalk Solutions has a great way of doing this, and I would urge you to check out his video in the card shown here. Okay, so we're logged into the Ubiquiti Edge Max. This is an Edge Router Lite, the one that I use. We're under Firewall, and then we're under Firewall Policies. And when we're in here, what we need to do is we need to create a local inbuilt. So you go Add Rule Set, and default is going to be accept and you would give it a name I called mine local in and default is accept so that'll add a rule right here next thing you need to go into here click actions edit rule set then add an interface so you want to add your interfaces that you want this rule to apply to so in my case it's my main ethernet for it which is eth1 in and the other one is ETH 1.2, which is my other network. So we'll add that one there. And if I go to configuration, you can see that that's accept. I'm logging it as well. And if we go to rules, you can see I've got a couple of rules here. So I'll just save that for now. The way that these rules are structured are we've got reject DNS and accept DNS. So you, to create those, you want to create a new rule. Click add new rule. So the rule configuration for reject DNS, we want to go advanced and the basic tab give it your name, reject DNS, enable, and you want it to drop, and it needs to be both TCP and UDP. Next, we need to go to the source tab, and here is where you can set who you're rejecting the DNS records for. So the way I've got my network set up is the first 40 IP addresses are static, and then everything else after that is dynamic. So I configure it so that anything which has an IP address between 40 and say .240, which is where my DHCP range ends, uh, they're not able to get out and use their own DNS servers. Next, you go to the DNS tab, and you configure port 53 as the destination that uh, you're rejecting the DNS. And then you can click Save, and that'll block that DNS for all of those users in that range. For the moment, while I'm showing you this video, I'm going to configure this one to my computer's direct IP address, which is this one here, and that will reject uh, that'll mean that any DNS queries I send out from my device will be blocked unless it's going to the local network. Okay, so that's saved there. Now we need to go to accept DNS. So we go to the advanced tab. And here you'll go basic, accept DNS, enable, and both TCP UDP for accept, and the source. You'll set your IPs that you want to allow for that DNS access, which is anything in my static IP range here. And then our destination, which is port 53. So basically those devices can access any DNS server in the world wide web. Okay, so that is saved. So reject DNS is .21. So let's bring up a terminal. I'll just show you here, IPA, and I am 172.16.0.21, and I'll do an NS lookup, okay? And I'll go google.com, and I'll use Cloudflare right here. And as you can see, it's struggling to find that result. So that's fine, I'll cancel that one. And if I uh, do this one again here, I'll type in my local DNS, which is my pie hole. And you can see that one can get out there. Now, I'll look up a domain that I haven't been to for quite a long time. So let's go to, say, see, I think that's the International Olympic Committee. And yeah, so there we go. It's uh, giving me an IP address. So that shows that the local DNS, my uh, ad guard setup actually, that's dot 26, is able to get out to the internet. So that's great. That means that works. So I'm done testing this. I'm going to configure my reject DNS. I'm going to set the sources back to my dynamic range, which is 40 to 240 
here in the uh, slash 23 subnet. And I'm going to click save. And once I do this, if I go back to here, I'll be able to see that if I ping Cloudflare again, I get a result straight back. So that shows that that rule set is working there. So that concludes how you can configure your Edge Max router to block DNS queries outbound unless you specifically specify which devices can access these. Now if you wanted a bit more of a complicated setup, it will probably make life a lot easier. You could actually go to your Edge Max router and you can configure your firewall NAT groups. And then you can go say add a network group and uh, we'll go local and then in here you can add all the networks that you have in your local network and this will mean that you won't need to specify directly what devices you're allowing or not you'll just select that network group well thanks for watching this video i hope this video has been helpful to you if it has been please like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more don't forget to check out a few of my other videos and i'll see you again soon in the next video bye